Hey, welcome back to another tutorial on NFTX V3. In the last one, we had a look at how we could get some test tokens, some Sepolia ETH to get started. This time, we're going to have a look at buying and selling NFTs through the marketplace. So we can see under your balances, we have some crypto punks here. Uh, these punks, uh, we currently have 10 punks. Um, so we want to do some buying and selling. Let's say we want to buy a punk and we want to sell a punk. Now the punks at the moment are almost 0.6 ETH. And I think from memory, we only have uh, 0.5 from our test amount. So we don't quite have enough to buy one directly. So we can go and sell. So we can either sell directly from here. So we can sell, swap or deposit, which is adding liquidity. Um, or we could also do that from within the collections view as well. So from the collections, we can have a look at CryptoPunks. We can see there's 25 listed in there. The buy price is uh, 0.63 and the sell 0.59. So if we come into the marketplace, we can jump down to your items. And we're going to want to sell uh, one of our existing items. So we can click on sell down here. At the moment, there is a delay from when we mint NFTs on Sepolia and when the metadata begins to show up. Uh, this is mainly because the collections are still getting minted because these are test collections. And also the Sepolia network is a little bit slower with regards to getting metadata ready. Uh, so these will come up. You just have to have a little patience for them to come. So let's say we want to sell two of them and we can say, okay. Uh, that's selling two of our crypto punks, and we are going to get back 1.18. Uh, we can have a look at the details of this as well. So we've got uh, slippage settings, which are at the top here. You can change them to whatever tolerance you feel uh, you want to keep. And you can have a look at the price impact as well. So we can see the price impact is less than a percent and what route is going through for the actual buy. Uh, we can see it's 1.2 is the amount. Um, there is a vault fee here. So unlike V2, where you would be buying more V tokens or more punk tokens to pay the fee, you actually pay the fee in ETH now. And this is our total. So we say uh, swap. And we need to approve our crypto punks to sell. So I'm going to confirm and approve that we are allowing FTX to access up to 10 CryptoPunks, just in case we want to transact with them again. And you can see the metadata has just come through. Uh, and then we are confirming that we are going to sell. So we say confirm. And there we go. Our CryptoPunks have been sold into the vault. They've disappeared from this area here. And we're away. We have some more ETH if we go and check out uh, in here, we've gone up to 1.6 Sepolia ETH as well. Now, if we go back into our marketplace, you'll notice we've got these are the two items that we have recently uh, sold in. Now, one thing that we have now is that once you sell an item into the marketplace, uh, it goes into a temporary auction where a premium is set onto the NFT. Now, for the next hour, that premium comes down exponentially from five times the value back down to the floor value. On mainnet, that will happen over 10 hours, but for uh, the testnet, it happens over one hour. Now, if we click in to this NFT itself, we can see it's actually going to cost us 2.1 ETH, even though the buy price is 0.6. So if we have a look here, we can see the amount we're still paying is sort of like 0.59. The vault fee is in there as well. And then the auction premium. So this value continues to drop each, each second. That's the premium that you're paying. So if you've sold an item into a vault, someone will pay a premium on that item over time. Now we won't buy it from here just yet, but we can also see that in the auction section here, that these two items appear. So these are the ones that we have recently sold into the vault. So as people are selling more and more items into vaults, this live auctions item will uh, be displayed a bit more. So you can see the newest or the ending uh, 
when things are ending soon and there's a little bit more information here as well now one nice thing is that if you have sold an nft into the vault and someone decides that they want to buy it you will get 90 percent of that premium payment in this example here someone's paid one eth in premium so if i click onto this one let's have a look at the premium uh, so the premium is currently 1.44 so if i was to buy this 1.44 times 0.9 you would actually get the person who sold it would get 1.29 eth additionally as part of the transaction so they get that bonus the other point uh, or the other 10 percent of the bonus fee gets shared amongst the liquidity and inventory providers so they get an added bonus as well but the person who has sold it gets the biggest bonus of all if we come back into here if we go into crypto punks uh let's say we're going to buy uh this one for 0.16 and can we afford to buy this one as well it's 2.6 i don't think we have the money for it so now we can have, afford one so let's say we are just going to buy the premium one we still can't afford it we'll need to wait until the premium value comes down a little bit more uh, we can wait for that maybe someone else will buy it for us um, so if i buy this one here i uh, select it i say i want to swap confirm okay so we've now bought that one out in our profile under our balances if we went to our miladies you can see our miladies here we can then come in say sell so we're going to sell our milady into this vault and again i can choose these i'm going to pick those two and say okay here i can get 1.26 uh, eth back for them again i can have a look here we can see this is routing through two pools so it's routing through the 0.3 percent pool and the one percent pool and i can say swap approve that i'm letting uh, nftx have access to my nfts and i'm going to send my sell my milady there we go we've sold it we will have more uh there we go more sapoli eth has been added into our wallet and we are away so that is buying and selling nfts from your collection uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can reach us over on Discord. Uh, you can go through and read the docs here as well. Uh, we have a feedback link here on the left and on the top here, which takes you through to a uh, canny form, which allows you to feedback any issues you're having with the product uh, or the protocol or the UI uh, and any recommendations uh, for new features that you might have as well. Good luck and happy shopping.